The 31st OPEC and non-OPEC ministerial meeting is set for the 3rd of August, where it is expected that countries will discuss their new strategy on how they will handle increased demand and stabilize prices. During the pandemic, the 13 core countries dropped their output. They have since worked on raising it once more to pre-pandemic levels to fulfill their quotas. However, the Saudi-led group has struggled to juggle the Russian sanctions with heightened demand. With inflation at a 40-year high and U.S. consumers paying around $5 a gallon, U.S. President Joe Biden traveled to Saudi Arabia in July to discuss the possibility of increasing oil supply. Wednesday's meeting will reveal whether his efforts were successful. While the interests of Moscow and Washington remain opposed, Haitham al Reis, the newly appointed Secretary General of OPEC, reiterated that Russia's membership in OPEC Plus is crucial for success. Chief market analyst at Xfinity Han Tan warned that any new OPEC Plus deal aimed at further ramping up supplies is likely to be met with market skepticism, considering the supply constraints already evident within the alliance. Meanwhile, some experts voiced concerns that demand will lessen as some of the world's largest economies slow down production.